I will start with uh, one uh, question. Uh, I think it's the main concern of uh, many people. Are we going to lose jobs? Is there any net loss of jobs uh, going to digital era? Well, that is indeed a very good question and one that has caused uh, a lot of concerns, not only in recent decades, but in fact, uh, for as long as we've been worrying about technology substituting work, in fact, it's a question that probably dates back to at least uh, the first industrial revolution. Now, what we see when we actually look at data about employment is that uh, there is no sign of employment going down overall. So, if one looks back at, at history, it's hard to think that jobs, at least from what we know from the past, will decrease and there will be a net loss. At UCD, we've done some work on this specific question, and we tend to believe that uh, the incidence of jobs that are at risk of being fully substituted by automation is perhaps a bit lower than what some people worry about. We've been putting that around 10% of jobs on average in OECD countries in the next 15 to 20 years. But let me also add one more point, which is that a far larger number of jobs than that 10%, even if they will not disappear, they will change radically because of digitalization. They will change because people will have to do new things with the new technologies. So this gets us to the second question. What are the changes that uh, should be implemented in education for the new digital era? Absolutely. So, one thing that we know, if we look at uh, data on uh, workers' competencies at the moment, is that uh, a very large share of workers in uh, all OECD countries completely lack digital skills. That means the skills that are needed to operate some basic technology to solve some basic problems. So, without saying that digital skills are the only skills that matter, because there, there's also a very strong need for other skills, starting from numeracy and literacy to soft skills and interpersonal skills, but that is a clear indication that we need to change our education systems to fill these gaps. And, very importantly, we need to change our education systems to give workers that are already in the labor force, so adults, the possibility to change their skill sets and adapt to the future work, which means, among other things, to create good systems of continuous education, lifelong learning, adult education, on-the-job training, and so on. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.